So I said before the oven is going under the bench there and dishwasher under the bench there but now the, I'm trying to get my head around the height of the oven the height of the dishwasher the span of the pair the you know how much I need to allow for the thickness of the bench top and the thickness of whatever the bench top's going to sit on. For today, what I've got to do is build a box with a, a floor on top of them, then a pedestal to put the oven on, and a pedestal to put the dishwasher on, and they're not the same height. I have them set up over here. The oven is 600 high and the dishwasher is 410 ish high so the pedestal that that sits on will be different height to the pedestal that that sits on but they both got to end up at the same height under the bench you know the first screw I put in landed on top of another screw put the bench height at exactly one meter which is about 100 mils higher than standard but I'm a tall person and my daughter whose kitchen it is is nearly as tall as I am so it's built for us built for her I have worked out that the box height should be 222 ideally and I just measured one of these drawers comes in at 225 so it's only three mil bigger than it should be and it's exactly the right width as well 600 so I'm gonna take the rollers off it and take the face off it and see if that works as a box. The reins are here, Marge. That's why all the cupboard stuff is in my shed. but I can repurpose here it's 10 mil shorter than I need uh, 10 mils lower than I need which is fine I can easily adjust
that looks about perfect, to be honest. We just had a family meeting. Rosie hates the height. And Ashling loves the height. So we're sticking with that height. It's one meter high. Whereas a standard a standard kitchen is nine hundred mils high. That's a thousand mils high. So now I'm gonna take the two appliances out and work on the two boxes. Yesterday I was uh, unmotivated because of heat and humidity and lack of sleep and a hangover. But heat and humidity yesterday and today the winter woolies are out again and long long pants and it's raining outside so I've locked myself in but I can hardly move in here because the kitchen's in the way the rain was coming in on the kitchen so I had to shut the go door now how do I remove this I don't want to bash things it's only brad nailed in all the way around maybe if I do a jigsaw close to the edge to snip off the brad nails the most of it will fall out but then I can just peel the rest off with whatever One way to find out. Did you hear them bread nails? <laughs> Uh, the blade seems okay. I've got spares anyway. two drawers to fit them, except I need to take a bit out of the bag so they can go further in.
spend an hour or two in Bonnings, get a coffee, have a poke around, see what tools I don't have that I might be able to sneak in. Oh, no, I didn't say that. That was Chandler. Yep. <laughs> Chandler knows how it goes, don't you, Chandler? Huh? Chandler, look. <laughs> You're a good boy. Look at that view. Can't even see the sea today. Well, barely. Barely make out a horizon over there now. close the windows upstairs. Do you want me to close that window? Everything else will get wet if we don't. It's coming in this direction. Too wide, just a puffed ink like. Wrong, but my little uh, 
cut out at the back is not tall enough. I won't put the face on it just yet, but that's in. It's working nicely. Only needed a little bit of adjustment on both sides there to fit in. And uh, she works good. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.